guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's share our top three beef recipes. So in the month of July, I have been sharing our top three recipes that we have shared on this channel using certain ingredients. We have done our top three ground beef recipes, our top three chicken recipes, and today we're gonna to be sharing our top three beef recipes. This is a good one. I'm excited to share these three top beef recipes with you. If you think that you know which of my beef recipes is gonna make the top three, leave a comment down below right now and see if you can guess what my top three are. If you've watched my channel and been a fan back from the beginning, you could probably guess what my number one's gonna be. So drop it down below. So coming in at number three is a real OG. This is one of my older videos, but this is a tried and true recipe. Very delicious. Here is my country style steak. This week was a crock pot meal. And so I was prepping it the night before so that it would be ready to put in my crock pot or turn the heat on the next morning right before I went to work. So I took this package of cube steak and I just laid it in the bottom of my crock pot. And I am going to season that. I know I'm going to have to put this in two layers. So I'm going to season with salt and pepper, add the remaining cube steak, and season again. After I have placed my cube steak and seasoned with kosher salt and coarse black pepper, I'm now going to be adding in one packet of this French onion soup mix. I'm going to just sprinkle this over the top of my cube steak. Next, I'm going to add in one can of beef consomme. You could add beef broth, whatever you have on hand. This is what I had. So I'm going to be adding this on top of the steaks. The next thing I'm going to add is a can of cream of mushroom soup. Here is my steak after it's cooked all day and that amazing gravy is smelled so good. This is going to be an amazingly delicious dinner. And here are our plates. This was a southern delightful dinner. So we had the green beans, the rolls, the mashed potatoes with the country style steak and gravy. This was delicious. I love that country style steak. Grew up eating that. It's so delicious. Definitely give that a try. So coming in at number two, it's one from my Cooking Foods from Around the World series. That series has really hit these top three. So that's a good series. If you haven't checked out the playlist for me trying to cook foods from around the world, it's down below as well. But in number two, we are making barbacoa. Oh my gosh, it was so good. First thing we need to do for our barbacoa we're gonna take our chuck roast and we're gonna get it marinating overnight. The recipe that I'm following called for a two pound chuck roast. The smallest one I could find was three pounds. So I think it'll be fine though. So I'm gonna start mix, mixing up the marinade first. We need the juice of three oranges. These are pretty soft. I hope we get some good juice from those. And two limes. We're gonna need half of this onion and four cloves of garlic. So let's get this marinade started. Okay, now we need to add some seasonings. We've got the orange juice, the lime juice, the onion, the cloves of garlic. Calls for two tablespoons of black pepper. Two tablespoons of oregano. One tablespoon of cumin. Thyme leaves. It didn't say how many, so I'm just gonna Put a few shakes and then it calls for white vinegar, a third of a cup. Okay, I have that chuck roast in this casserole dish that I'm gonna use to marinate it overnight. So I'm gonna pour this on top. All right, so we have our roast marinated or covered in the marinade. So here we go. Put it in the fridge overnight. We'll get it in the crock pot in the morning. Now I have my meat here in my crock pot. I'm going to be adding in some spices and juices and liquid to cook the meat in today. First thing that I'm gonna be doing is the juice of an orange. Just 
Next, we're gonna be adding some white wine vinegar, two tablespoons. We're gonna do salt. I'm gonna do two really big pinches. Pepper. A big pinch. Gonna add in cumin. About a tablespoon. Oregano. There's a lot left on the meat from the marinade, so I'm just gonna sprinkle a little. Time. I'm gonna do the same. Then we're gonna add in a cup of water. You could use beef stock if you want. I didn't have any, I forgot it. So I'm just gonna use water. Then I'm gonna use some tongs to make sure that everything is mixed well. Get that meat tucked down in there. And the last thing we're gonna add is two or three bay leaves. Make sure and tuck those down in the liquid. I'm gonna put a lid on this and cook this on high for four hours. And then we're gonna be adding a sauce to this and cooking it a little bit longer. All right, here is what the barbacoa looks like after about four hours. I'm gonna get this beef out, get it shredded, and then we're gonna be making a sauce to put back in with the beef. To the recipe I'm following, I need to use um, some more garlic, some more of this onion, a tomato, and I'm gonna be using an ingredient I've never used before. These guajillo chilies. So it said 10 of these. I don't know. All right, get the seeds out. That one didn't have a stem. I'm gonna kind of open it up, just to make sure. Get all those seeds out, yeah. There's one. Okay, here I have the tomato, the onion, the garlic, and those guajillo chili peppers. I'm gonna add one cup of water and salt and pepper. I'm gonna bring this to a boil on the stove. So I brought the sauce mixture to a boil. We're gonna let that go for about seven minutes. After about seven minutes, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna transfer it to my little blender cup here. I hope it'll all fit. And then we're gonna blend it up. So here it is in my blender cup. Let's get this blended. Here is that sauce all blended up. Look how beautiful. Alright, I'm going to get this into our barbacoa. Alright, here's the barbacoa. It still has a lot of liquid. So, I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to pour this sauce in. I guess it's going to add tons of flavor. And let's give this a stir. Right, we're gonna let this go another two hours on high. So here is my taco. I just made this with the barbacoa. I put some salsa verde on the barbacoa. That's what a lot of people suggested. I've got finely diced onion and some fresh cilantro. Our taco with the salsa verde, 
the cilantro, the finely diced onions, and that barbacoa. Let's go. That is good. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's the best taco I've and ever. And the number one spot. You guys got it. You know it. It's Mississippi pot roast. Oh, I love it. All right, so it's early this morning. I've got my crock pot out. I am going to be using this chuck roast that I got. This is about a two and a half pound. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this into the crock pot. Now, I love Mississippi pot roast. It is my absolute favorite. It has tons of flavor. And so I'm excited to share this recipe with you today. So I'm going to put the chuck roast into the crock pot. And then we're going to be adding in some yummy seasonings. The first thing that I'm going to add in is a packet of ranch dressing. If you have the, the bigger container, just use enough that would be equivalent to the packet here. So I'm just going to sprinkle that all over the top of my roast. Next, I'm going to take a packet of this au jus gravy mix. I'm going to be sprinkling that on top of the roast as well. I'm going to make sure and get it evenly coated here. And then we're only going to need two more ingredients. Next, I'm going to take a whole stick of butter and I'm just going to be placing that right on top of the roast. The next part is the best part. I'm going to take these whole pepperoncinis. I am going to be putting about eight to ten of these in the crock pot with the roast. I'm just kind of placing those around the base of that roast. Oh my goodness, this adds so much flavor. This is what makes it so good and so delicious. And like I said, this is one of my absolute favorite, if not the absolute favorite crock pot meals that I make all year long. After I have placed those pepperoncinis around the roast, I'm gonna add a little bit of that juice. This is it. This is going to be so flavorful. So I'm going to add the lid to this. I'm gonna set my crock pot to eight to 10 hours on low. And so we'll come back, give this a taste at the end of the day. Here it has been 10 hours later, and this is what that roast looks like. You can see here how it just pulls apart. So I just shred it with two forks. We have tons of flavor. It smells amazing. We've got that yummy gravy in there. And so I'm going to be serving this on top of some mashed potatoes, but you could serve this on top of pasta in a tortilla over rice. It is so yummy. And you can see how gorgeous this looks once it has been shredded up. And here is what it looks like on my plate. I just put it over mashed potatoes. I added a couple of those pepperoncinis on top and this smells delicious. I have been waiting for this all day. This is my favorite. Look at that. Now you don't have to eat the pepperoncinis if you don't want, cause they do add a little bit of spice, but I like to have a couple on there. It's good. I'm so ready, okay. So I just served this over some mashed potatoes. First, I'm gonna get a bite. Just the pot roast. Mm -hmm. That is so good. It's one of my favorites. I keep saying that. It's one of my favorites. So that's it, guys. That's my top three beef recipes. I am so excited to share those with you, and I am so thankful for you. If you're still watching this video, I want you to know from my heart how thankful for you that I am. This channel is only made possible from your support, and it has been a blessing to me. You will never know how much of a blessing your support has been to me. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribe hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any other recipes that are coming from this kitchen and I have lots of ideas for this upcoming fall and got some big big things happening around here so thanks for watching guys until the next one bye